I, you know, I think, um, you know, for us, we, when, when Taylor fell in, there's lots of ways to fall in this mess. And, you know, today we're talking about falling in with, um, you know, um, surgeries and, and, and pain management. And when, when we use those opioids, which, you know, are one of the most addictive drugs on the planet, um, you know, we hijacked um, his, his brain in a way that, you know, we, none of us really understood at the time. And, you know, Taylor didn't understand it. And, and I didn't really understand what was happening. And I think, um, you know, when you're a young person, so dopamine is a really important chemical. It's in charge of survival. It's in charge of pleasure. It's in charge of motivation and learning. And so, um, you know, that system is really important. And um, so like for all of us today that are on this call, we have probably have about 50 nanograms of, you know, dopamine in our brain right now, because we are motivated to get on this call. Right. So when you're motivated and you're doing things in a normal day, that's about 50, you know, nanograms of, of, of dopamine. Now, if, if, if somebody on this call hit the lotto and you, you know, everything in your life turned out just the way you wanted it, that's probably about hundred nanograms of dopamine. Well, when you, when you use an opioid or you use a methamphetamine, you know, we are, we are blowing up the dopamine system so much so that, you know, the natural things, the normal things that you start to care about become, in, 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 you know, don't become important anymore. So like methamphetamine, 11, 1100 nanograms of dopamine in the brain, heroin, you know, seven, 800 nanograms in, you know, of dopamine in the brain. So the brain's getting so much dopamine that, and the brain's smart. It goes, Hey, this is great. We need this to survive. So we're going to go to the highest source of dopamine. So very quickly, and we don't know where the line is, frankly. Um, and I think the younger you are, the, the, the more at risk you are, um, if you're putting these things in your brain, but nobody knows what the line is. Nobody can tell you, well, five are safe. You know, um, I don't, I don't think there's anything that, that says that. Um, but, you know, for Taylor, you know, he had a prescription um, of um, opioids to manage his shoulder surgery. And we effectively highlighted his brain, I mean, hijacked his brain, and then his brain stopped producing that dopamine. Well, a, a brain without dopamine um, is rough. I mean, he started to struggle in school. The things that were important to him, his grades, sports, people really were not. And it really became about getting some source of dopamine in his, in his brain. And, you know, and then when he would be in recovery, we didn't understand, you know, he's like, you know, he would say, because he was very articulate, very smart. And he'd say, mom, I don't, I don't, if this is recovery, this sucks. I feel horrible. You know, like he just felt dead inside and he wasn't motivated to do the things he needed to do. And literally it was really all about dopamine. And so I think understanding, especially if you have, you know, children, high school, college athletes, things like that, you know, the younger you are, the, the, the more at risk your brain is for that dopamine um, hijack. And, and that's why all the willpower in the world won't save you. If your brain stops producing dopamine, you're in trouble. And Taylor, that's how, that's how Taylor fell in.